Hello, good morning, welcome back. Uh, feels like it's been forever since I streamed. It's been a week, last Monday. I'm back with Montana, who is just blocking his whole entire fancy camera angle. Aren't you, bud? Can you go back? Can you come over here? Can you sit? Okay. Okay, okay. Good morning, Mac. Huh? Good boy. Can you go down? Yes, good boy. All right, go get it. Go get your stick. How are you doing this morning, Mac? How's uh, how's your weekend? How's the last week of your life been, I suppose? Treat the dog out. Oh, Montana. Oh, he just <laughs> looked up at me with a stick in his mouth and it flung out and was like, what? Go to your spot. Montana. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. Patience. Back, spot. Come over here. Okay, sit. Ah, back, sit. No, Montana back. Sit. Stay. Rascally little butt. Yes, good boy. That's for Mac. Say thank you. Doing all right. Been really busy and really tiring. <clears throat> LOL. Uh, yeah, I hear that. Uh, traveling wore me out. I was exhausted yesterday. We flew in. Uh... Yeah, well, went to my cousin's wedding, which was fun. It was a good, good wedding. They got married, so I guess that was the objective. Um, out in Colorado Springs. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was good, but tiring. Yesterday, we flew back into Burbank around 4, and then we had to drive because our trainer moved up to Lancaster. So we had to drive like an hour and a half to go get Montana and an hour and a half back. So I was, like, exhausted when we landed. And then we jumped in the car and had, like, a three three and a half hour drive to go get him so lots of traveling but i'm here i'm alive and play some tears which i'm excited for i play a little finish up some stuff in breath of the wild on the airplane i got to some shrines that require like the uh whatever the gyro or like tilting sensors and uh it got really tricky. I felt like an idiot because I was sitting there in my little airplane seat on the way out there, like rotating the switch controller. I was like, whoa, I gotta get it right. But it was good. Switches are great for traveling. I freaking love them. Kind of had some technical issues I was dealing with this morning. So my system's not set up again exactly the way I want, but I got it functioning. So we should be good. Good enough to at least stream. I don't know what happened. Last Monday, everything was working flawlessly. Monday morning stream. And then, well, I guess not entirely. I did have a couple issues that morning, didn't I? I don't know. I got it to work. And then, like, four hours later, I fired up the Xbox to play something. And nothing was working. Very annoying. Where did we leave off? Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. On Monday, we were hitting this little uh, maze shrine shenanigans. Uh, let's kill Montana. Come, we don't need that. We got our fancy horse. Hingus dingus. All right, come on, bud. Uh, where should we go today? What should we do? We found um, this tier. Also, we found the golden horse, but we don't have the stamina for it, so we're going to have to come back there. I think we might loop around this mountain and then head down this path and make our way, meander our way back to Lookout Landing. The plan. So we found three of these tiers. Arita. Right. We need to do the capture tent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. I think that's going to be on the way. So we'll we'll hit that hopefully. The captured tent, the tent, uh, the sisters that Nat and Megan set up in a cave has been overrun with monsters. To learn more. Yeah, we gotta do that. Codger's Quarrel. Where the wells? Wait. Oh, right, right. This is the one in the sky, right? Okay. Alright, yeah, we're gonna make our way back around this mountain and go check out. I'm gonna save their tent. Yeah. Little tent -ish shenanigans. Yeah. Hopefully everything's still working right. Somebody give me a shout out if there's some sort of unforeseen issue. Max subbed! Seven months! Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the support. I appreciate you. 
on a one month streak. Oh, did you laugh, Smack? Oh. Just kidding. No judgment. No judgment. I appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. Yeah. So good. <laughs> Mazel tov. It says seven month streak on my side. Yeah, I don't know why it says on a on a one. I think it's wrong. Because I think, I mean, you're always here and you're always subbing. So I think it's lying to us. I think Twitch has lost its marbles. That's what I think. <clears throat> uh, so what have you, uh, what have you been busy with? It's, yeah. it's keeping you down the old grind. Thought driving. Huh. I don't want you to use your prime sub on the app, so I couldn't do it for a while. Ah, uh, I see. Right, right. Wait, are you driving right now? Or I guess not, because you can't use the prime sub on the app. Huh. It's kind of silly. Probably a lot of people that, like, pretty much solely watch on the app. Huh. I digress. Huh. Twitch do what Twitch do. Oh. Be a road right around here. There we go. Okay, so the cave is. Oh, there it is. Found it. Let's see what we got. Come on, Tulin. Go kill some monsters. Got a lot of a lot of not great weapons here. And a little stone smasher. Go. Wow, look at them all hanging out. I think they're so cool. Good, look at this. They're just hanging out. We're so cool. and sneaky. Nope, nothing. Nothing. Yeah, get him. Yeah. Just try to smash me with his face? Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't even. Don't even. Little joker. Alright. Yeah, good one. Good one. Come here. Come here. Yeah, suck my tooling, huh? Get it, bud. Oh, okay, well, good thing I had a fairy. Oh, get him. They're sturdy stick. There we go. Done and done. Wait, was that? My tooling pretty much cleaned up the place. I did nothing. Ooh, arrows? I'll take arrows. Montana, what are you chewing on? Did you finish the stick? Are you chewing on a squeaker? Where'd you get that squeaker from, huh? Do you want to come join us? You want to go hang out with mom? Yeah, I'm talking to you. He was so adorable when we picked him up. Such a little goober. He like, Addy got out of, or my wife got out of the car first, and he like saw her, and it like took him a second to realize who who it was. And he did his like dumb little like sprint, but like like a it's like a halfway between a sprint and a and a trot. You like really fastly, just like, ah, Mom, you're here. Ran over. So dumb looking. He's such a little goober. It's pretty great. Conrad, how you doing? And I assume Conrad and the kids, how y'all doing today? We are back. You guys are back. You guys are gone for a long time. We've like switched games completely. Harry Potter is a thing of the past. We are now into Zelda. But welcome back. Glad to have you guys here. Uh, <clears throat> Mac uh, says, Nah, I've been busy driving. So the church I'm interviewing with has had a bunch of ministries that wanted me to see and be a part of, like food pantry, community garden, and men's ministry. Oh, nice. Okay. So they, they're kind of plugging you into into stuff there, huh? You thinking that's going to be your next your next job? Looking Things looking pretty promising over there? Or, uh, how's it going? Conrad, how are you guys doing over in that other country you're in? 
called it Denmark. Still, I still want to say Norway sometimes, and I don't know why, and I know it's wrong. Get higher. It's a ledge. There it is. Let's see how high we can get in this. This bad boy. Is that like a rock? What is this? No, not what I wanted. Magic hand. Nope. Maybe I can... Nope. Alright, alright. It says hi, Caleb. Well, hi, Veda. How are you? Yep. Veda also says she loves you. Aw, I love you too, Veda. How are you all doing today? Tonight? This evening? For you? Yep. Everybody having a good... Everybody have a good weekend? We found things to smash! Yeah, I really like this place and really hopeful for the position. Uh, they seem to really like me, but have kind of been sending mixed messages, so don't know yet. Okay. I mean, maybe it's one of those things where they don't want to, like, make any promises, hopefully. But, you know, they're planning on it, but they don't want to, like, promise too much. They don't want to lead you on too much. They're scared. It's like a new relationship. Reckless! Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. We're back at it. Another month's passed by. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the support. I appreciate that very much. How are you doing today? I, uh, I've missed streaming the last... I guess I've only really missed two sessions, but come on. I want to get you. Come here. Come here, fairy. Come here. No. Everyone always leaves me. Got, we got some bombs. Uh, we'll take the bombs. Let's see. We got a big old frog thing. Give me your bubble gum. Sorry. I know. I know. I'm a cruel, cruel person. Here we go. Bubble jam. Seek. pop upstairs see what we got going on where's my ascend can we do it it might be too high is it too high yeah it's too high descend here see what's up above we're gonna pop up at like the top of this mountain or something which would be dope i'm down right behind the giant fairy. Well, we don't need that. Conrad said it's been hot. Oh, yeah, it's starting to warm up over here in, in SoCal, too. And some nice, nice weather, some storms. Oh, man, when I was in uh, Colorado Springs this last week, we got a, I got a rental car through, like, Turo, private car rental company thing, where you basically, like, it's an individual's car, right? Uh, we got hit with a really gnarly hailstorm, and uh, it put dents all over the thing. I felt so bad. Um, I'm really glad I paid for, like, the highest level insurance I could get for it, because I didn't want to mess with that crap, but that poor car, it has, like, 30 or 40 dents all over it. And I told the guy, and he was cool about it, but, I mean, like, there was nothing I could do. There wasn't somewhere I could have parked it that had cover or anything, so it is what it is, but... It got beat up pretty good. Hailstorms. It was like the size of golf balls. I should uh, maybe post some pictures. It was pretty crazy. We uh, with a couple guys, and it started hailing, and we were like doing the dumb guy thing and like running out trying to see who could grab the biggest hailstone. And then my uncle came back with one that was like good golf ball size. It was a big one. It was a big one. Good times. Good times in Colorado Springs. Who knew? Otherwise, it was like 80 while we were there. It's like 80 and then random hailstorm. Let's go Let's go talk to these sisters. Tell them their camp should be freed. This is, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, this is my horse, Hingus Dingus. He's a pretty good horse. My latest catch. Oh, 
Oh no. Ah, oh, one of these guys. Alright, let's go turn this quest in and we'll see if we can help this. He's a brock. Hey y'all. I'm sorry, we finally bumped into each other again here, but really, it's no time to talk about that. We have to chase the monsters away from our tent somehow. You defeated them? There aren't any more monsters? Oh, amazing. So amazing. And strong. Alright, ladies. Settle down. What a relief. Most of what we packed for our journey is in that tent. And we can continue to search for that. We owe you, so here you go. Some steamy food. We're gonna bring you into our secret quest to find that. As we promised. Yeah, these girls have some secret they're going to tell me. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I want to know what it is, but they're going to tell me. We're going to hunt for a fabled place, a haven of mushrooms. Ooh, mushrooms. Discovered a note in a field guide to mushrooms that hinted of something spectacular. It said, vapors drift over Sternita Basin near a pond in Hebra. Source of the steam lies a bright mushroom haven. Okay, so it's in the Hebra Mountains, which is northwest. Uh, at the time, we didn't think much of it, just a strange little note someone left in the margins. Then the upheaval happened and caves opened up. We thought maybe, just maybe, we could find a haven of our own. Oh. Who knows, maybe it was just a joke. Prankster scribbled in there. But if there is a mushroom haven, we have to find it. Oh. It is between us, you understand me, my sister, and now a use. Mm. Uh, if the message we saw in that field guide was accurate, then the haven must be here in Hebra. Montana, do you want to join us? Do you want to come up? You can jump up here. Are you waiting for... Wait, what are you chewing on? Oh, squeaker. We just have to find the pond and follow the drifting steam to its source. Oh, Montana Cam. We better get going. Thanks, buddy, for getting our tent back. Oh, he's off. Never mind. He's left us. <clears throat> Hello, puppet. Hey, Alpha Wolf. How you doing? Who finds the haven? Well, I'm probably going to find it first. Just saying. How are we looking? Right, uh, what time is it? 3 p.m.? Nah, we'll, we'll ride on. Uh, maybe I should make some food real quick. We're going to cook, and then we're going to hit the road. There's not a cooking pot. There's one over there. Come on, Hingus. This dog probably needs some food too. Should we feed the dog? Feed the little doggo? What do doggos like? Fish? I don't have any steak. Let's lower down. Oh, I do have a steak. Oh, he's gonna like that too much. Let's give him an apple. Grab two apples, one for the horse, one for the dog. Here you go, bud. Ingus, take a take an apple. Yeah, good boy. He loves me now. Oh, he's gonna follow me. Here you go, dog. Eat an apple. You like apples. Eat it. Hey. Hey, you listen here. No. Oh. No. Oh, I think I took it from before he ate it. Oh well. Uh let's see. Let's make a couple a couple little dishes here. I don't know what to make. Apple mushroom stew. Bitter powder makes them inedible. No. Oh. Well, this is probably going to be gross, but here we go. No, oh, dubious. Nasty. Nasty, dubious food. What else we got? Maybe a little fish? Apple and fish? Hell yeah. Do we have any Hyrule bass? Hardy bass. That's what it is. We'll grab one of these. Maybe. Is this muddle bud? Wildflower with powerful odor that can disorient and confuse, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. Mm, that doesn't sound great. Splash fruit. Ooh, swim speed. Interesting. We'll just keep it. Basic. Oh. 
Ooh, oh, that's actually really good. Shoot, let's make another one of those. <clears throat> Montana, please don't actually consume that squeaker. Are you consuming it? You can chew on it and play with it, but don't eat it. Plastic isn't good for you, bud. Trust me, I know. I used to eat plastic every day. I did. I did chew on things, though. That's a whole other thing. Let's ride. <clears throat> All right, onward and upward. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Hingus. So we're going to loop around, I think, and make our way down to Lookout Landing. If we can. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Are we still streaming? Oh, my laptop just freaked out. Okay, we're still good. My laptop internet got disconnected. Wonky. What's everybody up to this week? Anybody got any fun plans? Yeah. Got uh, work. Had an editor fill in for me the last two days while I was gone, and I think he uh, did a better job than I do at my job. So today might be a fairly uh, straightforward day, which is nice. Less stressful than I thought I was going to have to come back and put together a bunch of shenanigans for a cut. But, yeah. Hopefully it'll be a, a quasi-chill week for me work-wise. Just here, maybe make plans for 4th of July. Oh yeah, 4th of July is coming up. Yeah, I think uh, next Monday I'm going to be out of town again. This summer my schedule is going to be super spotty. But yeah, 4th of July is coming up. We're, uh, we're going to go up, up and visit some family. Um, up in Fresno. Uh, oh shoot, also, uh, <laughs> my birthday, I think it's uh, Friday? I think we might do something Monday, before 4th of July. Oh, it's you! Alright, bud. Let's, uh, let's get this, get this sign fixed up. We got any, any little tricks, any holes on this one? Ooh, we got an opening across the top, we can just... Okay, okay, I see that. Let's do... Will this fit through here? A bit too big. Oh yeah, Witcher uh, Season 3, the start, first part of it just came out too, so I might try to watch that this week. That does fit. Okay. Well, actually, let's do... I have to create a sermon. Veda is going to get her nails painted. Oh, fun. Veda, what uh, what color are you painting your nails? What are we going with? Going with a good pink? Montana would like everyone to know that he has a squeaker, and it makes him very happy. Thank you, Montana. Just singing the song of his people. <clears throat> Conrad, you gotta prepare a sermon already? Didn't Sunday just come and go? Can't you wait a couple days before that? Or something else? Just squeeze this on through here. This is gonna be so good. This. Okay, no. Got stuck by a sign. No. works. Mm. Let it go, man. Mm -hmm. Wait to write it later. Then I should. Ah, I see. I see. What's, uh, what is everybody's 4th of July plans? Anybody doing anything crazy fun? Watching fireworks and stuff? Conrad, are you guys going to be the weird ones out in Denmark and celebrate? Oh, look at that. Flawless. No, wait, wait, wait. What? It barely... No. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> President Hudson, I'll support you. Uh, Max says, visiting and speaking with the youth this Wednesday, so preparing something for that. Nice. Yeah, we got... We got... Pretty, uh... 
Be decent. We got two passes in the chat now. Dangerous. <clears throat> Oops. I did, uh, so my cousin had a little little bachelor party um, that I went to. Very tame, which was nice. My family is apparently a tame family, um, but we, uh, like, we, as tame as it gets, I feel like we played um, Dune, the board game, and watched Dune, the movie, at the same time. And I don't know if anybody's a big board game player out there or anybody's played Dune, but it's actually a ton of fun. A really good solid board game. It's also funny. That's what we were doing on the bachelor party. My cousin's parents were very worried things were gonna get out of hand. It's like, look, you know my cousin. I think I think it's I think everything's gonna be okay. Had a couple brews. Maybe if we tack this underneath here. No, nope, that's not gonna work. Montana, what'd you got? Fireworks are only legal on New Year's. I do miss July 4th. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, you don't have to do fireworks, though, right, Conrad? You can just, you know, grill something good. Hang out. Say, woo, America. Hope nobody hears you. Wait, wait, wait. No, I didn't want to attach that. That's, that's wonky. Get out of here. Get out of here. I think this might work. Maybe if we just twist it enough. No! I mean, oh shoot, that might actually work. It's not pretty. Maybe. Come on, talk to me. I work with my dad on the 4th of July. Oh, nice, right? You guys gotta work. That'll be good, though. <clears throat> Perfect. How is he standing? This guy, man. This guy. All right. And walk down. Perfect. Money, money. Nice. <laughs> Banking quite a bit. Food. Believe it or not, hasn't stopped people from buying fireworks. Yeah, I mean that's that's fair. <clears throat> I imagine in in, uh, in Denmark though they don't really sell fireworks year round, so it's probably hard to to find some. Maybe Conrad, you can get a small one just for me. Set it off in the house, but it'll be a small one, so it'll be fine, you know. set it off in the house. It'll be fine. It's a small one, right? Alright. Ingus, get over here. What's this guy doing? Nice little cart. What's in the canyon? Oh, buddy. All the goods are in the canyon. And the splits. We want to go right if we're going to look out landing, but I do see a tower over here. Ooh, that's a ways over there. Oh yeah, that's out towards Death Mountain. I think this is the back of um, Kakariko Forest, isn't it? Look at that moon. Yeah, I don't I think that's... Let's mark it and see how far away it is. Oh, no, that is for this region. Dang. What's that other thing? Oh. Oh, right, that's uh, one of those geoglyphs. Nice. Sure, he can light up the Pikachu firework on stream and get insta-famous. <laughs> yeah, right? They don't sell them now, but when they do sell them, they sell big ones. It's pretty crazy. But they let a regular Joe Schmo launch next to houses and apartments. 
I mean, that, that's awesome. I feel like in the States, like, the illegal fireworks you can get are all pretty lame. Personally. But. But you know what I forgot? I forgot to go check on that Korok who needed to get to his friend. Come on, we'll be back out here at some point. <clears throat> See, this is... Because this is uh, Kakariko Forest, I believe. And I think this is like a whole... Uh, man. I don't know if I... Uh, it's going to take a while to get all the way through there. I think we got to come back to that region. I think we head down to the lookout landing. Get that bridge built to Rito. Rito Village. What's this guy up to? What's interesting? Oh, hello. Always nice to meet a fellow wanderer out here. Ikengu. Pikachu. Uh, in case you couldn't tell, I'm a painter. I travel from place to place looking for scenery to inspire me. Lately, I'm especially taken with the floating islands that have just appeared in the sky. I painted many landscapes in my life, but that tiny island floating in the distance may be the most mysterious of all. That strange little island up there, it's a fascinating shape. Easy to paint, too. You should go see it for yourself once the weather clears up a bit. A little. Which tiny island? This island's like everywhere. Talking about that one? Or that one? Hmm. Alright, don't know what he's talking about. Ingus, where'd you go? Let's go. We ride on. Do uh, Conrad, do they go pretty hard then in, in Denmark with fireworks at New Year's? Yeah. They blowing up each other's houses and stuff. Sounds like a lot of fun, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Just appeared out of nowhere. Where'd you come from, huh. sir? What is this witchcraft? Gotta hurry. Yeah, a little rain. A little rainfall. Frostbite shirt. That's some, some fun stuff. We're gonna... It does have to cold. We'll just blend some of this. Wear a hood in the rain, but this should do it. So, found another one. Addison, you're just all over the place. I wonder if you get something really good if you help him hold up all of his signs. This one's going to be a little trickier. Not a lot. Not a lot of help here. Let's see. We could do... Maybe we do like a... No, let's grab a let's bigger grab board. We go hard. Nice. What if we just do something like this? Stay. Oh. Get him out. Here we go. This is going to be perfect. Just what the doctor ordered. Go. La -de -da -de, la -de -da -da. But hey, you stay up there. That's it. That's it. Fuck. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. This one will go right over here for some reason. That's not good. I don't need this. Stick it right there. Or down there. Cool. So it's completely pointless. Actually, maybe we need one of these. Behind it so it doesn't fall backwards, yeah? Seems like a good idea. 
Oh, that's not really where I wanted it. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Can I snap it there? Alright. Alright, I think that'll hold it. Let's do it. Two years ago, there was a massive fire started in a courtyard nearby. A lot of bikes were lost. The worst nightmare for Danes. Oh, no. <laughs> Not the bikes! That's rough. Mm -hmm. Try letting go. Oh, look at that. It didn't even move. Perfect. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Strap down, quick. Never have thought of that. <clears throat> Perfect. Now, yep, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. More money, money. <laughs> Must be hungry after all that work. Yes. Ooh, sneaky mushroom rice ah! balls. I love rice balls. So, catch me up. What have I missed in this game? Ooh. All right. Oh boy, Montana found a friend. Montana, leave it, bud. Hey. Montana, you want to come to your spot? Here he comes, here he comes. Oh my gosh, oh yes. Oh yes, wait. What are you barking at? What's going on out there? Do you want to talk about it? You need a little uh, therapy session? No, you just want treats. But you sit too close, you got to back up back here sit down there you go that's a good boy yes yes all right go get it be nice to whoever it is with that i'm off uh all right conrad so catch you up um let me see if i can even remember what's going on been in and out of town so i don't even know um so basically this game picks up after breath of the wild um, <clears throat> you and Princess Zelda are uh, going deep underneath the earth, and you discover a uh, creepy... Okay, Montana's going crazy. Hold on a second. A new dog cam. Oh, yeah. There we go. Hold on. I'll be right back. Montana. Sorry about that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you discover, like, there's something dark and creepy under Hyrule, and there's this weird, like, gloomy, like, red, gloomy-looking monster thing, and <clears throat> it tries to kill you both. Link's hand it turns into a biggy, powerful-looking hand thing. This is... I'm really bad at explaining things. Ooh! Got him. Come here. <clears throat> Let's get the pokey stick. Uh, and then Zelda disappears. And so, basically, the, the gist of it is I'm trying to find... No, don't you shoot me. Come here. Yeah, <laughs> sucker. Let's dance. Wow. Run over by his own horse. Oh, hey, that's it. Come here. Poke you. I got a big stick. Is getting... Oh, there's a tree. Ouch. Oh, my horse is gone. It's like, I'm out of here. You crazy kid. Thank you, Tulin. Can't hit me. Bob and weave. Oh. Hi. We're good. We're safe. Everything's fine. Uh, so, yeah, Zelda goes missing. And all these... <clears throat> basically, the gloom enters Hyrule, and there's, like... Gloom coming out of Death Mountain. Gloom coming out of Hyrule Castle. Um, I'm going the wrong direction. Uh, and Gloom monsters, these hand things that pop up, and there's other things. And you can go blue. English is hard. Uh, below 
the surface and like there's like about caves and crap underneath um and then all these sky islands start falling down and um, smashing stuff and princess zelda's missing so we're trying to find princess zelda as well as find these geoglyphs which um have memories of what zelda has been up to um and there's also these anomalies that are happening in different regions so rito village which is where the bird people are from froze over because there was a big blizzard up in the sky so we that's the one thing we've done so far as we went and went into the blizzard and fought a monster that was creating the blizzard um and yeah and now we're we're gonna go to lookout landing i think we're gonna go hit grudu um village next because they've been afflicted by some sort of natural disaster i don't know what you'd call it catastrophe catastrophe we'll go with that yeah uh, and so we are trying to see what is going on it's all caused by this gloom that has lifted hyrule castle off the ground there it is that is the gloom oh and that is thunder and lightning and that's fun it's a sign we already fixed it's a really bad explanation i'm sorry i'm distracted we'll blame it on that Evil has invaded Hyrule once more. The gloom monsters come with hands and try to grab you. Link must save the day by finding geoglyphs and his friends. Oh, hi, Montana. What'd you get? Spoilers. Oh, I'm sorry, Mac. I just I just laid it all out there. I didn't even read the spoilers. Yeah, that was that was heavy spoilers. For, for as far as I am. But you've been watching. Come on now. You know what's up, right? <clears throat> I should probably be a little more careful about that. I just, like, lay everything out there. There's a lot of time spent in between story be beats where there isn't story beats. It's just, like... I mean, this game's just a fun playground. There's so much going on that you can do and so many mechanics and stuff. <clears throat> There's definitely more story that I didn't explain. Yeah. Um, that, huh. now that you said that, I'm scared to say anything, Mac. I wanna just spoil everything. Yeah. This is not the right. I have gone the wrong way. Huh. Oh, 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 we can still go this way. Oh my gosh. He's back. Hey, yeah. buddy. Don't mind me. Just gonna... Hmm? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hello. I don't know. My wife wants to know what I'm gonna do, because Friday... It's my birthday, and maybe I should do something special for the stream, but I don't have good ideas. We're gonna leave that. He knocks. This is chasing us. Is he chasing us? Oh, he wish he was chasing us. Oh, there's trees! Walking trees! Those things are crazy. We did find a well. Wait, have we not been this way before? No, we've been this way before. But apparently we... Missed this well. I gotta discover all the wells. Oh, maybe we did. Doesn't it mark the wells? I thought it did. Yeah. Yeah, there's a well. There's a well. It marks them. Nah, I was joking because I've been here. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, you made me all self-conscious. Oh, these things. So, my stick! Time to get some better weapons. Get a big old thick stick. Yeah. What do you want? What do you want? Let's go. Come here. Oh, what? Try to hit that. 
much is that? Oh, he he took two one. <laughs> or two one. Like a like like. Come here. There we go. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, this is rough. <gasps> he stole my thick stick. That bastard. Be gone. Alright, we gotta get my thick stick back. Oh, there's a treasure chest? Let's give it back. Give it back right now. Come here. Yeah, sucker. Well. Sturdy stick is beat up. Come here. Come here. Show me your insides. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, that's it. Sucker. You gonna die. Boop. There we go. Where's my thick stick, huh? There we go. Like like stone. Nice. Yep. Uh, yeah, so there's a whole other thing, Conrad, where um so you actually in the uh, this feel that great. Uh in the past some of the memories you see are of Princess Zelda. There's spoilers. Um, if anyone doesn't want to hear. Uh, <clears throat> Princess Zelda with the actual first king and queen of Hyrule, um, which are the Zonai uh, race of people. Uh, with big ears. And they look more like... They look kind of like beasts a little bit. Um, generic word to use, but they're like, yeah. <clears throat> a beast species, a sentient beast species. Uh, and uh, so you meet Raru, who's the king of Hyrule in the past, and. Well, that's not great. Okay. Well, these chests didn't have the best things, but that's okay. Um, and so you find out actually that Link, because his arm gets like contaminated, which is, or like gets taken over, which is why he has some of these powers. It's through his arm. And. Raru, it's actually Raru's arm that Link has, which sounds weird and doesn't really make sense, but video game stories, man. But yeah, Link has this powerful arm now that <clears throat> is actually the arm of the original King of Hyrule, uh, and he's using it because the original King of Hyrule actually had cool powers, like Link, who just knows how to swing a sword, which I guess is cool. No, it's on. Grab this bomb flower, because never have too many of those. And let's ascend. So, and I think you can level up. I assume you can level up your hand abilities to make them more powerful at some point. But that's me assuming. Oh, and there's ants. No, don't do it, don't do it. Ouch, that hurt. Oh my gosh. My face. Montana, you wanna come up here? Need some spicy ice balls. I need something with an edge. Take out this tree. Nope, nope. Ooh, the perfect dodge. Get it. Got him. <laughs> Sucker. Ooh, sturdy thick stick. And some lizards. Hey, wait, come back. I'm going to put you in my pocket. Got away. Get some wood. Uh, and when I went to Free Rito Village, I met Tulin, who was a little child in Breath of the Wild, who has now grown up and come of age. And he is a super strong archer. And he now... There we go. We got that well. Uh, he now... Oh, there's a chest. He now... His spirit has joined me. After we defeated the blizzard temple up in the sky <clears throat> and stopped the blizzard from destroying Rito Village, he, his little spirit has joined me. So now he follows me around and he can help me fly faster as well as um, go fight enemies with me, which is great. Hogs and deer. Got landing right in the center. Which way are we going? Uh, 
the center road. Yeah. Oh, oh. horse is mad. Yeah. Yeah, there's some fun fun dynamics to this. <clears throat> there's some cool stuff up in the sky that I've kind of barely messed with. Yeah. As well as um, <clears throat> below the surface, I haven't I haven't gone down there much at all. So there's a lot a lot to explore. Huh. Oh, I'm full of the AOs. I mean, you are. I mean, I always say things I shouldn't. <laughs> hey, pooped rupees, get them. And since the fall of, or I guess the rising of Hyrule Castle over there by the gloom, um, a lot of people have gathered in front of the castle at Lookout Landing to search for Princess Zelda as well as uh, protect each other from the gloom, the gloomy gloom. finally investigate. There's also a lot of research being done to the Zonai. So a lot of the Zonai, the original king and queen of Hyrule, their uh, race, a lot of their artifacts and stuff have been falling from the sky because they lived up in the sky planets. The sky islands, not planets. Um, yeah, this isn't uh, Outer Wilds. Um, but there is a science, science, science crew, I guess, that have been like trying to figure out and learn more about their artifacts. Uh, you who stand before me, offer a pose and return them. Dark tunic. I need 150 for that. That's what I really want. So Josha, she's part of the crew that has been trying to make discoveries towards the Zonai. Uh, so remember that fragment I had, the one that showed a single mysterious figure? I found more fragments along, uh, among the things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle okay. pieces. Ta-da! Just look. Nice. Oh. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. This scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there, like the one you found for me last time. Yeah, there's a statue I took a picture of. They wanted to see more. So there's some, some kind of like investigative quest that you get in this so far where they're like, hey, go explore this, take a picture of that, bring it back. So... Uh, this scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there, like one, uh, but what really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed toward the next one in the series. Oh, interesting. It's almost like a way to navigate to something down there. Well, it ends with that last statue facing a final destination, a building that looks like a temple. Hmm. Also see those large ears on the figure at the front of the building? That's got to be one of the Zonai. And then there's that strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. <clears throat> is it my power hand I have? Uh -huh. So to collect my thoughts on all this, I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of those statues down there, you'll reach that structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I've heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Of course, all this is still just speculation on my part, so... <laughs> That's where you come in, swordsman. I want you to find the temple structure depicted in the mural. Initially, I figured I could just go by myself, uh, so I gathered a bunch of bright blooms and supplies, Aww. but they pulled the kit card on me and said I couldn't go into the depths. So here. Okay. Uh -huh. You can have these, too. Nice. Yeah. Bright blooms and arrows are perfect for exploring the depths. There's the added bonus that checking out the depths might provide us with clues to help find Princess Woohoo! Zelda. So if it all works out, maybe you'll snag some mysterious power for yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda. Nothing but good things, right? Thanks for your help with this swordsman. Nice. Okay. Robbie! Great job getting the picture of the figure that Joshua was looking for. She was pretty happy to see that statue. And I was thrilled to show you how to use the camera. Inspired, even. The Pura Pad has even more potential uh, functions, you know? Listen up, big update here. Your PuraPad, so the PuraPad is my little tablet I can take pictures of and stuff. Uh, can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Oh yes, that's what I want. Come on, act more impressed. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who noticed the shrines after the upheaval, so I created a sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the PuraPad Research Lab in Hatino Village. 
Oh yeah, up on the hill. It's from Breath of the Wild. Uh, that's right. It's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the Pura Pad, which Pura and I developed. Once I'm in that lab and you join me there, I can further improve your Pura Pad, starting with the sensor. To find the lab in East Nekluda, off the southwest corner of Hyrule, on its far side is Hatino Village. Go a bit further than that, and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you. It's a cutting edge lab. For now. Uh, Josh's investigations are my main priority, so until she gets further along, I'll be staying here for a while. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I wonder, Hatino Village, I wonder if my house, because I built a house in Breath of the Wild up there. I wonder if it's still there. Spoilers. Yes. Pura. She's great. She's, uh, she's grown up a lot since the last game. Linky, welcome back. I've been hearing a lot about your adventures. A serious cold front, food shortage, a floating ship, and there was a sighting of someone who looked like the princess. I had no idea things were that dire for the Rito. If you hadn't shown up to help out, who knows what their fate would have been. Mm. It's become clear as day that there's a connection between Princess Zelda and the upheaval. Uh, that's what they're calling it, the upheaval. Things are much more serious than I previously thought. I need you to hurry to the remaining regions, and soon, and we need to investigate the other village I'm concerned about too remaining regions Mon hey montana montana you're good leave it you're good there's people outside you're fine just looked at me so offended what this is my job uh you gotta be kidding this is exactly what you should be using your pure pad for did you forget or something well i guess that's in character for you isn't it can i see the pure pad i know what i'm doing i just want to know if there's more information about it there are three locations left, Elden to the northeast, Lanayru to the east, and Gerudu region to the southwest. From here, Elden to the northeast is probably closest. Monsters are pretty active to the south anyway, so you'd, you're better off sticking closer to here, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but I want to do it the other way. Anyway, if you need a refresher on what to do, check your PR pad. I'm leaving the, those regions with phenomena in your hands and make me proud. Also got that other village on my mind. I'm working with a survey team to look into what's going on there. What other village? It's relatively new place called Terrytown. Yes, Terrytown. So Terrytown in Breath of the Wild was actually there's like a whole quest to like build up that town. So you like help them build and establish and bring people into the town. It's so much fun. It's great. Um, in Akala, northeast of here. I can't wait to go and visit Terrytown. See if it's grown. What's going on there? Hudson Construction is located there. They're the same folks who built Lookout Landing and the Skyview Towers. For some reason, Zonai devices are falling near that area more than elsewhere. Hmm. There's got to be a special reason for it. If you want more info, talk to Atmos down in the shelter. He can probably point you in the right direction. He helps deploy the monster control crew squads to where they're needed. He has extensive geographical knowledge. He can tell you more than I can about the various regions and peoples. Keep me posted. All right, thanks, Pierre. Oh, this music, this music's great. Everybody's outside. Her, uh, her little room is pretty messy. Look at that, paper's all over the floor. And, like lamps that are probably fire hazards with all that paper. Let's go, uh, how many... Do I have enough shrines to level up? That's nah, not what I'm gonna do. Let's go see. We'll drop into the... We have a little... Below shelter for safety. Below that. So sorry. Uh oh, what happened there? A hole in the wall. There's a try. Have enough. Might be one short. I don't remember. Ooh, nope. I got enough. Do a heart or stamina? How many hearts we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get ten. Do we'll do some stamina. <clears throat> Can always use a little more life. Time for me to lurk. Mm, Veda says she's really missed you. She's glad we can watch again. I'm glad you guys can watch again too. I I. I love Zelda. Like, this is my favorite series. So I definitely 
taking my time with this, was, which might be a little more boring, but um, I'm glad you guys get to hang out and watch it too, because it's such it's just such fun, good games. Go and bring peace to the world. I will try my darndest. The, the volcano sketch on this map. Explosion, go boom. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. So sorry. Did you break a hole in the wall? Hey, look who it is. I'd recognize that face anywhere. Any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in this shelter. It's all yours to use as you see fit, but you should probably avoid this area in particular. Sometimes I hear a creepy voice coming from this hole. It almost sounds like a demon growling or something. Oh. No one else claims to hear it, but I certainly do. Between you and me, I kind of worry. I awaken some demon when I busted up this wall. My even bigger worry is that the demon has it out for me now. Robbie, Grante, my beloved family, goodbye forever. Who goes there? We go check it out. Huh. What's this guy got to say? Hanson. So there was a path after all. I figured it, if this is the royal family's emergency shelter, there should be a path that leads to here. So if you follow it, then. Uh, whew, I don't know. Discovery. Got a rock. Don't do anything crazy. I'll throw it at you. This is two. I gotta destroy this, though. Smash it, Smash it all. this come to me it's like a shrine but it's got horns i don't know guys ray uh. infected with gloom ah so there are some who still pay me homage you can talk you don't say you can hear my voice yes i should have said no now that is a surprise hey mad imp welcome hello yeah, I'm back. Back. I had a little out of town uh, trek last week, but I'm back. More tears. What were you praying for? Long life? Wealth? Like so many of your kind? This is uh, interesting. Whichever it was, you came to the right place. Dealer in life and power. That was me once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hyrule. She turned me into this stone statue long, long ago. Even then, I continued my bargains as a statue in a village. Still, the goddess did not like what I was doing. Oh, was this the statue outside of Hatino Village? Got moved here. I was banished from the main street to the outskirts of town, scorned and neglected. That was not enough for her. Again, I was sent away. I spent time trapped in a pond with only fish for company and finally here. Perhaps another might have learned a lesson from this, but I have not. No, I have only been bidding, biding my time for the moment when someone can hear me, can hear me appear, someone such as you sure we can reach a beneficial agreement i have dealt only with fish for too long and fish make terrible deals you can imagine uh now then shall we strike a bargain hold still and don't fret i'll take care of everything this won't hurt a bit wait wait no what are you taking hold on what was that <gasps> wait no but i just got that heart hey ha ah, ha ha my touch is as subtle as ever Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. Deal with the statue. No, but I, I want give it back. I I will smash you with my rock hammer. I can't. It's not fair. Give me my heart back. <laughs> give it back. Did you think I'd deceive you? Perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. So which will it be? Give me a heart back. A wise choice now remains still. Uh, okay. Okay. There we go. That's better. Jerk. So I'm, I'm guessing he's a statue that was outside Hatino Village in Breath of the Wild that lets you trade hearts for stamina, essentially. You look skeptical. Not to worry. Money and life are all as one to me. If you're ready to begin, then first you must sell me either type of essence for a hundred rupees. 
you want to buy an essence back, the price rises to 120. Before you cry foul, know that you may choose which one I return to you, a heart container or a stamina vessel. I'm eager to help tamper with your essence anytime you want to return and pray here. Hmm, okay. Yeah, well, that's pretty pricey, though. Uh, I've been good, madam. How have you been doing? I, uh, yeah, I've been just uh, doing, doing pretty good. Just traveling this last week for a wedding. Back to tears. Smashing rocks. Um, but yeah, I mean, things have been good. Had a long weekend. But it was worth it. To my cousin's wedding in Colorado Springs. And flew back and drove and picked up Montana, which took a long time. And yesterday was kind of exhausting, but it was good. What's at the back of the rocks? Gotta smash it all. There's nothing back here, is there? It's a big waste of time. Wait, no. Oh, there's something. We're almost there. I need more smashy smashy. <laughs> So this power uh, lets you, Conrad, I know you're kind of just jumping in here late in the game, but um, this that power lets me basically fuse items with weapons, which is kind of cool. If you put that together, I can grab like any weapons and anything on the ground and fuse it. Like a bomb, which I feel like is a bad idea. But maybe not, because there is a lot of this. We should just get a, a bomb arrow. Call it a day. You can also hook stuff to any arrow you want, which is pretty cool. This way? There's another rock, that's good to know. Just kind of like dig all the way under Hyrule Castle or something. Get another stick. Thick stick. Use it. Been good. Busy at work. Have a few days off in two weeks, but just joined a D and D group to play face to face. Starting next week, at least a six month campaign. Oh, that's sick. That's cool. I, uh, you know, my brother in law is trying to start up a D and D campaign on Discord, and I like need to sit down and like set up characters. But I don't know if I've talked about it before. But I was listening to the Crown of Candy uh, podcast from Dropout, or on Dropout, uh, and we're doing a prequel D&D session with that, in that world, which I'm excited for. And I had a really good character idea. It was really messed up and just, like, really dark, um, but I don't think it quite fits with his world, so I gotta come up with a new character, and I kind of had an idea, but I want to kind of brainstorm about it more, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Nice, yeah, I've been wanting to do it for a while, so super excited. Oh, that's awesome. That'll be fun. And in person, too, would be great. We, uh, we're playing, I think, the people in his group that he started are all, like, I don't even know where everybody lives. It's all over the world. And he's out in Idaho. I'm here in California. So it's, like, kind of the only way to do it. But it'd be fun to get involved in a good D&D in-person group again at some point. I used to play with my coworkers, but we never finished our campaign. We got so close some people quit the job and it got weird and take our traveler's sword use it yeah I've decided on a tefling paladin oh nice 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 good old paladin ooh secret secrets mushrooms Gosh, so many money. What do we think is above us right here? Think it's something good? Should we check? Let's check. Descend. This is another one of those abilities that the hand gives you. It's just right out here. It's actually kind of nice because I think it pauses everything. 
Maybe not. But you can also like go back down if you don't like where you're at. Which is handy. Swimming through rock. As one does. of this game yeah there's some really fun fun stuff it's just such a fun little playground these guys now let's save our oh come back no come here come here show us your little ball you're in a ball come on come on out with it Claymores, due to the upheaval, like everything is basically rusted. All the weapons have rusted out too, which sucks. Oh, did you get it, Tulin? Nice, Tulin, good shot. Uh, oh no. Okay, the blood moon. Okay, I thought someone was about to attack me. I got scared. Blood Moon's basically, for anybody that doesn't know, they reset all the monsters. It happens every fortnight. Not the game, but two weeks. So all the monsters just got reset. So everything I've killed is back, basically. Which includes this. Just really annoying. Tulin, kill it off. Whoops, that was a bad... There you go. Get him. Come here. Come here. Can I put a treasure chest at the end of a weapon and smash it? Does it work that way? Let's see. No, you can't. What else we got down here? Another stone. Oh, wait, the rocks reset too? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, that's almost worse. Come here, come here, show me your ball. There we go. Another chest. Another treasure. Let's open it. Yeah, it's been a while since I got into a good D and D campaign, so I need to I need to sit down when I get the chance and, and figure out my crown of candy character. Ooh, too many. What do we lose? I mean, it's better than this, but this one's pretty cool. Yeah, it's fine. We don't need it. We don't need it. You see some rocks up there. What do we think is up there? Let's blow it. A lot of bombs. Really want more of them. Send. Bloop. Find like a big Goron back here with a big Goron sword or something. Would not be mad about that. More bombs. Sweet. Ooh, opal. Like that. through like all my swords. All right. Oh, what is this? Oh, come here. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. Let's throw you over here. <laughs> oh, another one? Oh, these things are just great. Can I blow up this with that? 
No, it doesn't work like that. Clamber. Ooh. Oh, a door through here, huh? What have we discovered? This is gonna take. Okay, let's make a little hole. And then maybe we shoot it with the bomb. We'll be our first campaign ever, so excited about it. Nice. Paladins are fun too. That's so great. That'll be fun, madam. I'm excited for you. At least I keep finding more rusty claymores to break stuff. Sick. Gotcha. We like under the where are we? We're under like part of the town outside of Hyrule Castle. Oh, we got one of these things again. Let's finish off this sword. Get another one of these. Smash it. Yeah, get it, Tulin. Finish him off. Come here, ball. Done. What have we got in here? Something good? Something shiny? Ooh, soldier greaves. Heck yeah. Worth it. Shield, a bow. Okay. Sword. Some boxes. Our sturdy, thick stick. Bunch of arrows. Very nice. Let's uh, let's check out these pants. Should be pretty good. Brings my defense up to eight. I like that. We could be wearing... Oh, you know what I should be wearing is my this, because I get attack up. I'm worn by a warrior. Uh, set to deepen the bond with Rito when worn. Yeah, let's keep that on. Traveler's Spear. Anything else? Revelio. Wrong game. Wrong game indeed. I bet you there's some cool stuff up above where we are. Um, let's grab our smashing stone and smash. Ooh, another chest. I oh, have more armor. Love me some armor. Get to it? I can. Something good? We'll just play more. Okay, well. It's decent. Let's ascend and see what's up above. Thanks, yeah, I never played a paladin before, but everyone else. Choosing druid, cleric, ranger, and rogue, so I decided to become the muscle. Nice. I mean, that is a good decision. Okay, we're just outside the lookout landing here, I think. I wish you could, like, descend after you pop up somewhere. It'd be kind of nice. Like, like, you know, not. Obviously, I can back out of that, but, like, I wish you could just be running around in the overworld and then decide, like, I'm gonna sink into the ground and then just down into the ground. Alright, let's head back into Lookout Landing, if we can find our way without getting too lost. If I got some new stuff at the store. We did find out what the voice was, so that's, you know, something, I guess. Let's Use this guy, that rock, so we can smash more things. Oh, oh, there's more, uh, more smashables. Unless this is what closed up afterwards. It probably is. Okay, let's climb up top. Was this the way I came? I'm so turned around now. I have no idea where I'm going. This is the way I came. Oh, the rocks don't come back with the blood moon. I think it was just those rocks I hadn't destroyed. Gotcha, gotcha. They're down below. Okay. Get out of here. That's right, because I had to drop down. Okay, so this is a new area. 
Scribo, good morning. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. We're uh, just checking out the secrets of Lookout Landing right now. How uh, How's your weekend? How's life treating you? There's nothing in here. Let's see what's above here. I recognize this cave. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The secret little hole. Oh. Oh, nice. It just pops us back up here. Let's go back down. I want to make sure I got everything. Doesn't look like there is a whole lot. Else. These rocks I didn't completely smash. Yeah, I just got the uh, soldier greaves. I am stoked for. Okay, let's make our way back out. We found that little shrine that lets you trade um, hearts for stamina. Very important. This is not the way. Run back. Oh, I hear the music. That little shrine. That guy. Those little horns. Getting kicked out by... God Hylia. Nice. Yeah, that statue was in the first game too. Yeah, 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 right. Have a smaller sword. Jaren, it's okay. I broke the wall and angered the demon, and I'll be paying for it with my life. Robbie got a goodbye forever. Let me tell you a secret. You what? You went inside the hole? Did you find the demon? Is is this goodbye for me? Wait, a demon statue is in there, you say? I know a bit about those. Want to know what I know? Uh, I kind of already do now. A dealer in life and power touched by the wrath of the goddess fallen to ruin. Then that must mean the horned statue is an entity who deals in life and power. Which would make the da dais the place uh, where it was enshrined back when it was still a god. Okay. Uh, so the voice I heard was the forlorn horned statue. Is There is the goddess of light. Then it follows uh, that she should she would have an opposite, the horned god. Like light and dark, one cannot exist without the other. The power manifests through the other's existence, knocking a hole in the wall. That was fate, no doubt about it. I can't go in there, but I'll keep this area spick and span. And I'll be sure to greet the horn statue from here, too. Oh, and thanks, you know, take this. Money! I'm going to lurk while I play some plate up. Okay, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Lurk away. I uh, We're coming up to 10 o'clock for me, so I'm probably going to have to kick over to work here in a, in a few. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Lurk, lurk. Uh, it's Robbie's spending allowance for next month, but now it's your spending allowance. Thanks for cleaning this up for me. Right, time to settle the old nerves and get back to work. Nice. Checking off them side quests. There. Oh, the store's upstairs, huh? I do kind of want to know what's like the stream running through because we didn't go down all the way to there. So how to get down there? Climbing up. Ugh. Goron. Love them Gorons. Get anything new at the store? What are we looking at? Well, tunic. Is that the one I'm missing? I think the pants. I think the pants are what I'm missing. Good. Traveler. Hylian. Okay. I got all that. Frozen wheat. <gasps> oh my gosh. He's here. Estu. It's you. We meet again. It's been a while, huh? So this place was built recently, huh? It's got a good vibe and I figure it's safe since there are lots of people here. There are so many monsters all over these days, so I'm going to stay here and relax for a while. Oh, hang on a minute. Do you have a Korok seed? I do. I do indeed. You do. You've got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me Korok seeds, I'll expand the size of your inventory. So you want more room? Uh, yes, I do. Shalaka. Which stash should I expand? Ooh. Hold on, let me see. Hmm, then, baby. 
is the best. He is going to dance. I hope, uh, Conrad, you're still here because this is uh, the best character in the game. Maybe I might be able to do more than one. Bow, shields, and swords. Maybe we can do all three. If you give me quark seeds, I'll expand the size of your inventory. So you want more room? Jalaka. Which stash should I expand? Let's start with the weapon stash. Choke. I'll just need two quark seeds. Oh, that's it? Oh, we can level up a bunch. Let the expansion begin. Yes. The jams. <laughs> the best. The absolute best. Nice. Alright. Dance again, let's do it. Dance for me. Spend a band a band. Weapon stash, chadalaka. I still smell cork seeds. Want me to make your pouch even bigger? Uh mm, ew. Yes, please. A one for that? Oh my god. And we'll be able to level up everything. All kinds of dancing. I like how he's got his backup dancers now. It's great. Just great. <clears throat> uh, let's do... I mean, how much is it going to cost for more weapon? Three? Classic. Dropping them beats. <laughs> Question is how many times can you hear the song? What point is it too many times? I don't know if it ever is. Nice. I got so much Clorox to spend. So maybe do how much is it gonna cost? Eight. That's a lot of a lot of weapon slots. Expand a band a band. Yeah. Alright, I think we might skip. For time's sake. And sanity. Apparently about four times is as many times as you can hear that song. I want to know how you expand your battery size. That's what I want to know. But don't tell me if you know, because I don't genuinely like need to know. I just am curious. I hope I find out in the game at some point. So much expansions. Let's do another bow. Running out of seeds. Like, I feel like it's kind of trivial. But that's okay. Now when I find more things, I can just put them in my pockets. That's what everybody wants, right? More things to put in the pockets. Nice. What is that? Nine? It's pretty, pretty loaded on those. How much for a shield? Three? How much for another bow? Eight? Ooh, don't have enough. Let's see. I think that might be it. I might be tapped out. All of the dancing. That right, should be fine. Beautiful. Band band the shield stash. I don't think I don't think I can afford anything else. Oh, four. Perfect. Cleaning me out. The last time. 
Hacha. Garaba. Beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. Well, I'm glad he's here. I'm glad I found him again. I thought he was just going to be, like, wandering around. I was going to have to take advantage of whenever I ran into him sporadically. But, I do. I'm glad you are in this village. It's odd. Oh, boy. More side quests. Mac. Just, yeah. What, what does that even mean, Mac? What, what are you using this for? Just, yeah. Very interesting. Oh my. More things. We came here to actually find help. So this golden horse. We know about that. Mystery in the depths. Wait, that's a new thing? How is that a new thing? Oh, right. That's the, the follow the statues. Did find the golden horse. White bird's guidance, that one threw me off. There's a couple whole uh, side quests. There's this one. Which is why we came to Lookout Landing, was to find somebody to build the bridge. Uh, or in a bind as they want to repair the rope bridge, destroying the blizzard, but can't find anyone skilled in construction. However, they say... There's a skilled carpenter at Lookout Landing. This person's name in sun. Probably Hudson. I don't know if he's at Lookout Landing, though. Looks like he might be over at Terrytown. But we'll see. Whose name ends in sun? Anybody? Burwer. Hudson, where are you? Anson? That Wurtsworth guy is a big wig with his own eye survey team, isn't he? Surprised he came all the way out here. Guess that means this stone tablet is something worth looking into. Close call, I was just about to demolish it. How did you do that? What's this guy got? What's going on with you, sir? Hmm. Carson, where do you think the stable will be ready? Ah. It'll still be a while yet. Oh, he's building, yeah, okay. I think this is a guy. I need to get the last of the roof planks correctly fitted. There's only one spot to finish. Hmm. Until the stable is ready, we can't board any more horses. What a shame. Incomplete stable. Well, let's finish the stable then. Hmm. I want to finish up construction on the stable, but I'm not sure how best to tackle fitting this roof plank in. Fix the Rito. <laughs> Fix it. Fix it now. Oh. I hate to say it, but I've still got to finish up with the stable. I'd love to help you, though. Oh. Travelers come by here often, so there's a lot of requests for horses. I do wish I could build a stable in our classic sun and done fashion. What does that even mean? Finish up. I'm not sure how best tackling. Uh, uh, the roof plank. Do I need to. Put a. Oh. There's a hole. Do I need to fix it for him? Is that what this is? Or some wood. So we're gonna fix it and get him over to fix that bridge. Oh, there it is. Oh. What? All you gotta do is this. How hard is this? You can do it yourself? See? It's done. Good as new. Just gonna climb up this hay bale. go <clears throat> well look at that it fits perfectly oh. couldn't just do that yourself seems pretty straightforward thanks for helping out i was having a hard time figuring out how to fit it the roof done all that's left is to add the finishing touches all get cracking sun and done about dang time uh -huh. da -da -da. Quick and quality blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Okay, okay. Okie dokes, feeling pumped. Gotta get this done in one fell swoop. Better, better look cool. Oh, he's a noisy builder. All right. Whoa, Opie was building. 
Nice. How's that? Well, well, this is a fine looking stable. Can't say I'm surprised considering your Hudson Construction's number one. And thanks for your help with this little project, son. Looks great. I'm not your son. Now we can board horses at Lookout Landing. If you need help with horses, please talk to me anytime. We do miss Rito Stable. Okay, bud. Pretty stellar craftsman, am I right? I gotta say, I've outdone myself this time. If you end up boarding your horses here, they'll have a luxurious time. Alright, look at Lookout. Work at Lookout Landing is nearly wrapped up, which also means I'm out of work. You wouldn't know anybody who needs a carpenter, would you? Uh, the Rito Bridge. Come on, man. I just talked to you about it. Ah, the bridge shop you told me about. Sounds easy enough. Heard it fell apart when the blizzard, uh, when that blizzard struck Rito Village. But if they're looking to have it fixed up, that strange weather must have died down, huh? Well then, no time to gab. I'll have that bridge looking good as new in less than no time. Sun and done. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm going to have to go out there and help him finish that job too. This guy. It's Hudson Construction Dudes. Wouldn't be. Uh, we wouldn't have been able to build such a handsome mini stable without you and Carson. I know it's been a long time coming, but I'll work hard to make sure it was worth the wait. Now then, let's get to business. Seeing as you're already a stable member, I'd like to give you one point to thank you for your first visit. Nice. Ooh, reward available. Well done, Link. It looks like you're really saving up your points. If you want to claim a reward, be sure to visit a proper stable. Now then, welcome to our mini stable. What can I do for you today? Mini stable. Hmm. Running this mini stable alone, so I can't offer quite as many services as a full fledged stable could. We only register board and bring out horses here. I'm afraid you can't exchange points for rewards here either. You'll have to head to a stable for that. Is there anything else you want? <laughs> then, good then. You've been to Woodland Stable? I hear there's a great fairy fountain right nearby. If you leave out a lookout landing east gate, you'll find it on the way to Elden. Nice. Where's my horse? I left him on the other side of the village, didn't I? Alright, what's the deal with this slate thing? <clears throat> yeah. Ah, Link, you've come just in time. Have a look at this. Mm. The stone tablet that fell from the sky is inscribed with ancient Hyrulean. If I can manage to translate the text, it may be key to understanding the moment in time from ancient Hyrule. Oh. I can translate this from ancient Hyrulean, but my notes are back at the research lab in Kakariko Village. Oh my gosh. So I'll be heading there to check this text against my notes and proceed with the translation. I've already copied down what's inscribed here, so I'll be getting back to the village. Mm. If that piques your interest, Link, you should come to Kakariko Village so I can share what I've translated so ah. far. This inscription has tremendous archaeological value. It's a bridge connecting us to the distant past. I aim to unravel its mysteries, and the sooner I get started, the better. Nice. Alright, at some point i got to make my way back out to Kakariko Village, I suppose. It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. I had a little translator from Outer Wilds. <laughs> Translate it. Sweet. Well, on that note, I probably should wrap up um, because I gotta get I gotta get bouncing to work. Uh, start off this Monday doing some some editing. So yeah, uh, we'll uh, we'll save up here. <clears throat> we did what we came to do. Sent that guy to fix the bridge. So I think uh, Wednesday we'll be back on 8 to 10-ish um, and probably going to make our way, take a look at the map here, I think we're going to make our way down to Gerudu. That's going to be a long trek. Maybe we should just hop up to, to uh, Death We'll see. We'll think about it. I kind of, I don't know, part of me wonders if I should, now that I have like a, a good quest down below the surface. I don't wonder if what's this? Is there a flag here? Last location. Um, I wonder if it's worth jumping below the surface. There's all these things to check out. I don't know. We'll we'll see. I'll think about it. See what, see what we come to. Maybe we go down below. Do some exploring. Get the crap scared out of us because I'm sure there are things down there. They're gonna want us dead. But on that note, let me save up. Beautiful. Oops, just did that. It's a title screen. Um, yeah, on that note, 
thank you guys for hanging out thanks for the subs today i appreciate that very much um i will be back i stream monday wednesday fridays from eight to ten ish um i will be skipping next monday as it is a holiday and i will be out of town but otherwise hopefully you keep grinding through tears um and i know i always talk about having some surprise streams but keep an eye out because i might pop on for some diablo or maybe i've got the sea of thieves itch so if i can get some friends together and play some sea of thieves that might might be a reality we'll see um Otherwise, uh, I will be uploading this a little later on YouTube. I'm a little behind on that with my trip this last week, so I think i got to get the last session still up on YouTube. But if you're watching that, this there uh, and you want to throw a sub, um, which is free on YouTube, not like Twitch, um, that'd be great. I'm trying to get some support there. Hopefully you have some time to cut some shorts, some little moments from past streams together too, so those might be popping up in YouTube shorts and on Instagram and whatnot. So... Um, I also do have a Discord, so if anybody's not in that and you want to look at uh, pictures of all of our pets and the occasional um, staying up to, to speed of, of when I'm streaming or if something happens and I'm not able to schedule-wise, uh, Discord is the place for that. Uh, otherwise, um, yeah, hopefully catch you all on Wednesday. Have a great Monday, and ciao.